So what I've got here is a DIY rotary engine compression test kit. It's based on the old original uh, Mazda rotary compression tester. It comes with everything you see here um, in this image. It's got a uh, microcontroller which comes pre-programmed, ready to go to do rotary compression tests. It's got your displays, your lead for your sensor, your sensor, 9 volt battery clip. Fairly si simple uh, device to put together. You have to have some sort of electronic background to, to solder primarily the microcontroller. There's a few pins there, it takes a bit of delicate soldering, but apart from that, everything else is fairly straightforward. So my first step was to solder the headers on. I've also put some headers on here for the controller. I've made mine so I can plug it on and off. You could also do the same. The kit doesn't come with these, but you can buy them at any electrical supplier. I've done that so I can program multiple controllers off the one board. Um, next step now will be to wire in the um, we'll solder on the displays and the sensor cable. Okay, so that's the final product. It took literally 10, 15 minutes to build. Um, when you do power it up, Make sure it's connected to the sensor, otherwise it'll give you a false reading. But um, basically, hook it up to your engine. Um, it'll give you a countdown, five to one, while it's cranking. When it gets to one, it'll then give you your display there with your um, rotor faces, one, two, and three, and your RPM, cranking RPM.